All right, so now we are gonna draw our sunglasses. I would totally make sure that you have pictures to go off of. I'm actually gonna go off of a sketch that I have um, that I made already. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side here and um, replicate them in here. Um, I would recommend, and this is what I've done for all of mine, is go to the halfway mark. So this length here is like around seven inches. So half of seven would be three and a half. So I'm gonna make a tiny mark at three and a half. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do that as well at three and a half. Move this over just a touch, there we go. Three and a half right here. And then I'm gonna lightly, cause I'm gonna eventually erase this. So I need to do it super, super light. halfway. This is a really great thing to do because then um, you know like where the middle of your sunglasses are. I think it really helps me. Um, any tips I have for you is just to really look at what you're drawing and then really try to see like okay how far away did I make this lens from the top? How far away does the top need to be from this lens? We want to have it take up as much space as possible in here. Um, when we are drawing, so just keep that in mind. We want, that's why we made these boxes, so that it fills the space. Um, uh, so let's get started, I guess. All right, I'm gonna turn my paper sideways a little bit here, and I'm gonna start in the middle. So my, my first pair of sunglasses have sort of a deep inset here, and it's a more of a shallow. And then they come up. and come down like that, all right? So now to get it on this side, I have to try to make this curve the same and remember that that tiny little space is gonna be on top and it's gonna go all the way out to the side. This is where I find, I personally find um, that I have the most trouble. Sometimes it's nice to turn it sideways. And then the other thing I'll do is make sure, like I'll take my ruler and line it up to figure out like where the point is supposed to go. Like this end here. So that's gonna go like right around here. So I'll make a little line to myself to know that that's where it should go. So for right now, I don't think that looks too bad. That doesn't look that doesn't look very bad. I like to then go back to the middle. Some people will go from the outside, but I like to go back to the middle because then I know the curves and how it's supposed to meet up. So my sunglasses here have a skinnier curve in the middle, and then they curve down. I think this one's a little higher. So it's gonna be a lot of like eyeballing, trial and error. I think sometimes I find it easier to like stand it up and take a look at it. Then I get to see like, is it straight there? Those kinds of things. And then the side of these, and I know I'm jumping all around, but this is what helps me, may not help you. Maybe you have to do it a little bit more systematically, but this for me is like how it sort of helps me figure out my curves. I'm gonna come here and there's this like angle that comes down. And I don't wanna go all the way to the bottom so that my, like the edges of our sunglasses can go that way. And not the edges, but the part that goes behind your ear, you know? This is where I also have some trouble is making the angles the same. but it comes in handy to draw everything lightly in case you have to erase everything like that. So it's not that deep of an angle. There, that 
looks better. And then I come back in here. Make sure I'm just getting my angles correct here. Okay, now we need to, like this is gonna have to come down because it's gotta be, see that space I just made there? And if I like the way this shape is, then I've gotta fix it on the other side, right? Comes a little bit flatter here. not the easiest. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, and now I'm going to make my frames. So on these particular sunglasses, they have frames that come up and come down here, but then they sort of end and there's no frames on the sides. So I'm gonna come in here and the frames are pretty thin. on the top and just making sure I keep an even spacing, you know, and then it comes in here and it curves. And then again, pretty close to my edge. And then it sort of just fades off to the side there. So again, mimic it on the inside here. And I'm just sort of going across to see where that curve is. One thing I have noticed that if one part of it is a little bit darker than the other part, then it may be in the right spot, but because it's darker, it looks like it's weighted differently. So it tends to look a little different. So that is something just sometimes what I do is I will lighten up my lines and then I can say, oh yeah, it is in the right spot. It doesn't look that different because now the lines look the same darkness, I guess, or lightness, and then you can really tell. So it goes up like that. So this curve here, I'm not liking so much. Gotta figure that out. So sometimes I'll go and not really touch it, but I'll go on top of the curve to try to get a feel for it. So that way, like I sort of get some kind of muscle memory and then I'm able to repeat that on the other side. And as you see me going, you see me moving my paper often. I highly suggest you do this. Now, these the cool thing about these sunglasses is that they also also awful also have this cool like metal part that goes from the top of this curve here. Sort of sits on top of it. Gets a little bit wider up down at the bottom here and then gets skinnier again as it comes up here. So it's got this like piece of metal that that lies on top. The last touch we need to do are the edges of our glasses, like the tips of them. So we're, depending on some of your tips, some of them may be more square, some of them may be, you know, just round like this. We need to make sure that we put these in here. The cool thing about what we are gonna do is that you don't necessarily have to draw anything inside because sometimes you can see them cross inside because we're doing our watercolor landscapes in there. So that's really nice. So there's my first one. All right. Um, I will do my other ones just the same and we'll go from there. <laughs> 